Okay, another extension has come out for Microsoft Edge to block ads. It's called uBlock Origin, and it's been out for quite a bit for other browsers, and it just now came out a little while ago for for Edge. And uh, it says it's supposed to be efficient on CPU and memory, but of course all programs uh, say that. Now, of the people that have seen it and loaded up so far, rated it, it's a pretty good rating, but let's go uh, load it up and take a look. So if we go to the store, there it is, uh, uBlock Origin. And as usual, we'll click on uploading it and starting download. And because it's just an extension, it's pretty quick. So once it installs, you'll see probably down the right-hand corner down here, you'll see the prompt that says, hey, it's installed down there. Okay? But the store will update and uh, show that uh, it's ready to launch. And so we'll go ahead and click on the launch button here. And as you come up, another copy of it will come up. And we'll go over here and says you have a new extension. And here's the thing about warnings and all that. And we'll say OK. And you go up here and there's the uh, settings for it. And you'll notice it explains what version it is and uh, a couple other things. Uh, but it's already turned on down there. So we'll go down here to, to where, uh, oh, I want to show the button here up top. But we're down here to options. And we're going to go through these. But these are really, at this particular one here, this block blocker has a lot of, it's a highly technical one. Most people aren't going to need to do anything with this. It's going to go ahead and self-update all the time. It's, the settings are already set for that. But for those of you who are more technical in nature, you can get into the guts of this thing and add on your own filters, uh, you know, take a look at different kinds of things that are going on. Uh, so you can not only you can set up certain networks, you can say which kind of ad you want, you know, how you want it to handle that kind of stuff. But the easy one is the one uh, for general kind of uh, ads and everything. Uh, but anyway, like I said, you can really get into this thing with malware domains and all that, and languages and regions. Uh, but again, the average user doesn't have to worry about that. There's already filters in. You don't have to do your own filters. Uh, the same with rule, <coughs> rules and whitelist. Um, you can create your own rules and uh, say, okay, I want to do this. And there's an actual documentation to show you how to do that. Again, it gets quite detailed. It talks about the syntax of the rules and how to make them. Uh, here's an, you know, the example or the real basic rule, uh, type-based rules and all, all different kinds. So if you're a technical person, go ahead and take a look at those uh, documentation and you can create your own. Uh, rules. Now, whitelists are those sites that you can put in here that uh, it will automatically skip. It will allow any ads to run. So you can put those in here. And it already has some of theirs that they put in here. And in here, I would leave these here unless you find some sites in here that are always being skipped. You may want to take a look at that. And you can add your own in that you want permanently. But as you run it, you can actually add in sites yourself, uh, which we'll see here during operation coming up right now. Okay, let's go over to some sites uh, that have some ads. Uh, pretty easy to find nowadays. Uh, we'll go over to MSN first. And type in msn.com. And you'll notice the first thing you uh, when you get to the site, you'll see an area over here with a big blank area. Well, guess what? That's where ads usually show up, at least some of the ads. So let's find out uh, why not. So let's go over here to uBlock. And there's a big button up here that turns on and off uh, the view block for the site. And it says it stopped 16 out or 11% uh, of your viewing. So let's go ahead and click on that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me click on the button. And we're going to turn it off. And you see the button is no longer highlighted. We're going to refresh the page. And it's going to take a second here, but there you are. There's ads are starting to show up. And things are moving around like this trending now below that used to be over to the left a little bit. Here's another ad down below. Uh, the ads are showing up. And of course, if we click here again and we turn it on and we go there and refresh again, you'll see that it refreshes and the ads are gone. So you'll see that uh, by default, when you go to a site, the ads are turned off or blocked by uBlock. Uh, let's go do one more. Let's go over here to um, CNN.com. And we'll let it come up, and we'll scroll down here a little bit. And there's some empty spaces on the right and on the left. Um, go down here, there's some more spaces down there. So we go up here to uBlock. We uh, say there's more caught. We turn it again, turn it off again. We hit Recycle, refresh the page. 
and we should see it takes a second here and scroll down refreshing you want to finish here soon oh there we go there's a new year's eve ad there's another ad coming in here so by default you block has blocks the ad every time you visit the site you have to turn it off if you want to see it now about a few months ago i published another one a different ad blocker ad block plus you, and it's available as well. So you have to make a decision which one. Uh, they both, depending upon the configuration, uh, they can, they're can they configured to do the easy blocking, which means the most intrusive ads are blocked. But you can go ahead and go to the configuration and change that. But here's yet another very popular uh, ad blocker. Uh, you block origin, and as you can see, does a great job of blocking those annoying ads. 